everyone, this is Christy with ProInTheHome.com and I'm here today to do an unboxing of my latest bulk box, and that's B-U-L-Q. Bulk.com is a liquidation company that helps businesses like Target, Amazon, Walmart, Macy's, and some other like Bed Bath & Beyond box stores like that sell off their inventory and they will take their returns, they'll take um, overstock inventory, and they will take uh, shelf pulls. And they buy them at a bargain price from these retailers and then uh, put them in giant lots or boxes or pallets and let people like you or I buy them for resale. And so when you buy these bulk boxes or bulk pallets, there are a number of different ways you can buy them. Um, they come in both manifested and unmanifested lots, and they are everything from sporting goods to clothing to household items. And you can decide what types of items you want, or you can get a general merchandise box where sometimes you'll know maybe some of the items, you might not know any of the items. Um, but it's a good way to get your cost down pretty cheap. For instance, today's box that I'm going to unbox with you, I purchased this box for $110.21. Now, 30 of that is shipping, so the box was $70 before the shipping, and they charge a flat rate of $30 shipping no matter where you are, which is one of the good things about working with Bulk.com. Um, the value or the retail value they say is in the box was $536. Now, I don't always go by that number because it can vary. And if you're an online seller like myself, you know that what one person values a product at, somebody else may value it totally different. And that can work in both ways. That can work for to your advantage or it can work against you um, based on what the item is. So I take that number with a grain of salt. What I really look for is my purchase price. So as I said, I purchased the box for $110.21. There are 76 items in this box, which means my cost per item is $1.45. So as long as I can make above $1.45 when I'm selling these items or when I'm flipping the items, then I'm, I'm good. And that's, that's the goal. And of course, I'm going to sell it for a lot more than $1.45, right? I'm not going to waste my time on things that aren't that uh, valuable. So what you need to know about this box that I'm unboxing today is that some of it's manifested, most of it's not. So out of the 76 items, 44 are unknown. So I have no idea when you see them, and I see them, it's going to be the exact same time because I haven't even opened this box yet. And I'll share with you so you'll have some inside knowledge as to what you might find in your bulk box. So let's get started. Um, in the past, bulk wasn't very good about their shipping boxes. Um, they would overstuff and under uh, utilize space. And so a lot of times these boxes would come with some damage to them. In the past, maybe six months or so, I've noticed this is getting much better. They ship through UPS and you know, sometimes UPS is good, sometimes they're not, but the way they're putting their boxes together seems to be a, a lot more structured and uh, it comes in much better condition. Now, the box that I'm opening up today uh, is returned. And so they're uninspected, meaning I don't know if they're brand new items, if they're used items, if they're a combination of each. I just don't know. And that's part of, um, why they're able to do the price so cheap. And the more you buy from bulk, the more you'll get used to uh, the kind of things you can expect to find in these boxes. Some things are gonna be crap. I mean, it's just what it is. But I'm gonna tell you that I find a lot of really good quality items and I found a lot of new items. In fact, recently I found a brand new iPad. So, and it wasn't manifested. So you just never know what you're gonna find. And that's kind of what's so much fun about opening these bulk boxes. So let's take a look and see what's inside this box. Um, when I look at it immediately, I can see that there's a lot of um, housewares in here, which is great because I like to sell housewares. First thing is a nice set of, I think these are probably threshold towels. 
and I'll be able to tell a little bit more. Oh, made by design. These are nice dish towels. It's a four pack, two of these pretty aqua colors and two white and they're in perfect condition. They're just missing the little hang sleeve that's on them. Uh, this is, it looks like a pillow fort towel. And as you can see, every piece of merchandise that bulk sells is gonna have some kind of sticker on it. That sticker is just their own way of marking their merchandise. Sometimes from that sticker, you can glean certain information. So like I get a lot of Target merchandise in the bulk boxes that I buy. And Target has a specific way of labeling the things that they sell. And even if you don't have the price tag on the item, what I like about with Target is that you can um, look inside the tag and find out what it is. So, this item looks like it is a shark, this is cute, it's like a shark hooded towel, and it comes with like the little fins on it for the hands, and this is new, um, it still has the little plastic thing, so nobody's used this yet, and it looks like it's in really good condition, and so all I'm going to have to do is look under the tag, and hopefully this has a tag so I can show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay, so, so this is a pillow fort tag. We know that's a Target tag, but underneath here is the Target tag. And if you go on Target.com, you can just enter that little number right there, and it'll pop up if it's something that it's still carrying, so you'll know exactly what that item is. So this is really cute. Now let's see, okay, this appears to be... I think I've sold these before. Um, this is a really cute cover for your ironing board. And looks like this, and it's new, and it's just missing the tags. But I already know what this is. I have a couple different ironing board covers from previous lots, and um, that won't be too difficult to sell at all. This, I don't might not know what it is but if you look on here it'll tell sometimes it'll tell you and so this is telling me that this is curtain panels and this is from opal house and opal house sells really well on ebay so so far everything that i've found these are things that i'm going to put on ebay i very fr infrequently find things that i put on amazon fba because they're so um, funny about what you put on but these curtains are absolutely gorgeous and They've never been used. They're just missing the cardboard sleeve. And if you've ever purchased anything from Target, you know that when they do their um, their textiles, like their shower curtains or towels, they usually have a cardboard sleeve and it always falls off. It never stays on. And this is true for a lot of these items. So they might have been returns, but nobody used them. Okay, so this is a Frozen 2 seven piece bath set. And it looks like it's in, it's new, it's never been opened. Um, it's got some wear and tear to the box, but this uh, was originally $10, and I'm sure that I'm going to be able to get that pretty easily on eBay. Oh, it's another one, same thing. It's a bath set. The only thing is these two little um, bath fuzzies, they should be right here and here, and so I'll just rearrange them in, in there. Um, so they're brand new. We have a coloring book. This is Avengers. And if I get enough of these little th types of things, it looks like there's another one here. Um, I may sell them as a lot. Somebody who's doing like maybe an Avenger birthday party might want a whole set of Avenger coloring books. So I'll set them to the side and see if there's more. This is a bath, this is a mat that goes on the ground. You can put it in the kitchen. Um, sometimes people put these under their refrigerators. Uh, we used to have one and it fell apart, so I, I may end up keeping this, but um, it's it looks like it's in perfect condition. It's just missing the casing. Okay, this is a Hobson collection damask sham, oh field crest damask sham, still has the tags on it, it's in perfect condition. Um, it's just one sham, and it was originally $29.99, so I should be able to get pretty close to that. Oh, here's another. Remember I was telling you about the cardboard that falls off? This is what I was talking about. Um, this is Opal House, and this is a sheer curtain panel. 
and it is in perfect condition. It hasn't even been taken out of the box. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. This is probably a pillowcase. It doesn't give me any markings to really know what it is until I open it up. This tape though, goodness. Oh, this is a runner, table runner. So really nice table runner. Um, let's see if it tells me which who makes this one. I don't see any markings on it, so there are no tags. My guess is it is probably Hearth and Hand, which is a Magnolia collection. I'll have to look and do my research, but this one is unmarked, so I'm not sure what it is, but it does look new. It's in perfect condition. Um, this is a nice storage box, as you can see, perfect. Um, still even has the insert in there, so that's nice. I already have some of these, and so I'm kind of keep them when I find matching ones, and I sell them too as a set. This is a drawstring bag. It looks like this should have been an airbed in here. This is for a twin airbed, so I will look and see if maybe the airbed's still there. Perfect time of year for this one. This is a Speedo Child Swim Vest. It does not look like it has been used. It does not have the tags, but it's still, these are still, the straps are still hooked, which tells me this is brand new, so that should be an easy sell, especially for the summertime. This is a Spec um, iPad case which is perfect because I have an iPad that I'm going to sell. And so I could probably put this together in a lot. This is a Heyday wireless charging port. Um, it is an open box, it has been opened. And the box has some kind of damage, but it doesn't look like what's inside's been moved out or ch checked at all. So I think that's gonna be good to go. Okay, whenever you see a bag, you know that's probably going to be some kind of liquid. This is raw sugar body wash. And, oh, it doesn't look like it has been. Oh, that smells really, really good. This is raw coconut and mango. So, we'll see uh, how much this is worth, but it's, it's brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. Sometimes you'll find things and they'll be damaged. Um, this is not good. So this bottle ha was open a little bit. There's a little bit leaking. And this is Shimmer Light Shampoo. It's that purple shampoo if you get your hair highlighted. So hopefully that did not get all over everything, but you can see that here's a little bit of purple residue. Um, but it won't affect this. This is a junior size um, like goggle mask. And it has been opened, but it has not been used. Nope. Doesn't look like it's been used at all, so that's good. Um, window sunshade, these are like the cling windows. If, when you have a baby, sometimes you'll put them in the back window. And I've got some plushes in here. This guy is Baldi's Basics. I have no idea who he is, so I'll have to do some research on him. And then I have some of these. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And I've had big ones of these squishmallows. Squishmallows? You know, like marshmallows, but they're little creatures. And looks like I have a couple of them in here. Here's another one. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And while you wouldn't think that these would sell, um, these actually still have, they're brand new with tags. Sometimes I get them new, sometimes I don't. And it says they're $4.99, but I can easily get $10 for these little boogers. Let's see what else. Now this is this goes with that other guy. They're Baldi's Basics. No idea who they are, but um, might end up selling them as a lot if I get enough of them. Oh my gosh, this is like a little pushy pushine. Yeah, look, he's a little pushy, but he's got some stuff on his face. He got into that purple shampoo, so I'm gonna have to wipe him off and see if that comes off. He is super cute. 
Okay, uh, bathtub finger paint, black. And this is, oh, spray chalk in like a pretty teal color. Oh, it's another one of the Pusheens. This one is, he's nice and clean. I don't know if he's different, so it might be a, it's like a set of them in there. Oh, here's the same guy as before. Got another one of him. And a little hoop <laughs> keychain. And he's a squish, up, squish one, so you can like squish him up and stuff. Kids going back to school love those little things. This is Cloud Island, which is a baby, and I'm not gonna open it, but I think this is like a little baby blanket. I'll open that later. These are pillowcases, and I think there's two standard pillowcases. Looks like, I think it's like a light silvery gray. They're new, they're just missing the cardboard sleeve. Um, these, I can tell these are pillowcases as well, uh, in royal blue. Have no some little toy I think you throw him up in the air and he floats down um, no tags attached to him he may just get thrown into the donation pile this is a pillow sham it does not have the tags so I'll have to do some looking up um, it does have like the inside tags but can't sell it as new because it's not um, but pillow shams do quite well when people are trying to match their bedding sets Oh my gosh, y'all, I have a ton of these little guys, so I have no idea who he is, but I swear to you, he's got a lot of twins. So, um, hopefully I can get rid of these guys. They're a bunch of them. And here's, uh, I think I already have this guy, one of this guy, but then I've got this girl too. Well, she's kind of creepy looking. I have no idea who these people are. Baldi's Basics Series 1. Never heard of them. Looks like they're from like some kind of gaming system. Okay, resistance bands. Um, sporting wear sells really well on eBay. And this is a set of um, nice resistance bands. And they're brand new. Still sealed in the box. Again, we have a bag, so it tells me it's something probably liquid. And this is a two-pack of Neutrogena, and as you can see, it's just missing the tops. But they're full bottles. They're still sealed in the box. So very easy to sell them. Okay, here's this is some type of car. I'm not sure about it, so I'll have to do some research. It's got really nice wheels, and it looks like it kind of goes over things. But I'm not sure what to make of it, so I'll have to do some research to see if it's worth anything. Okay, another one of these little girls with the crazy eyes. Oh, little chick, a squashable. And this is Tanologist Tanning. Um, there's no cap on it, but it is a brand new full bottle. This is a Jet Set Hydration Kit. Uh, it's sealed. It's by Elf, and it's got a lot of different little things inside of it, so that's good. That'll be easy to sell. Uh, a football, which I'll probably keep. This is great to have, you know, to go to the pool. Uh, some NYX Mineral Powder. This is still sealed. A little looks like a little um, hospital vehicle. A chuck it ball. I'm guessing this is for a dog, but I'm not sure. But I think it is for a dog. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back T-shirt in the box. These are really cute. This is an extra large, but it comes from Empire Strikes Back. But it's in this little box. It's a Funko. If you're familiar with Funko and all that, that stuff sells extremely well. And the size is extra large, so that's going to be a really easy sell. And the box looks like the actual video game. Very cool. Got 
got some dry hairspray. This is Batiste. It's missing the lid, so I'll keep this because I use Batiste. And I can just take the lid off the one I have and um, refill it with that. I also got a Heyday Power Bank. The box is kind of gross, but what's inside of it is a nice power bank. Easy sell. And it looks like I have a whole set uh, I'm guessing these are baby wash costs, those Cloud Island, so I'll just untake the tape off of here. Um, they're probably all hooked in, and it looks like the tag's still here. So just a matter of unhooking them and just selling this a lot. These are cleansing facial buffs. It's brand new. Um, may just keep these because they're not worth a whole lot. Um, more of those washcloths. This is so you can kind of see what they look like. Just basic set of washcloths, but you know, being this time during a pandemic when you can't get out of the house, it's nice if you can buy a washcloth in bulk like that online because it's something that everybody needs when they're having a baby. Um, this is a float. It's so great for this time of year. It looks like it, um, the bottom of it's just kind of peeling away, but it has not been opened. It's still sealed. This is a glass shield. I'll have to check this. This is for the iPhone 11. Um, and I'll have to see if it's still in there. It has been opened. It may be that somebody realized it wasn't the right size and returned it. Get these all the time. And I think it's because they're just not packaged very well. But these are Febreze plugins. And as you can see, all the plugins are here. And I keep these and just sell them as one big lot. Um, like I said, the containers, people, uh, they'll fall right off because uh, they're just not, they're not very well um, glued together, I guess. And so they're brand new. It's just that um, the packaging's ripped. Getting to the bottom of the box, I've got a cord that goes to something. I have no idea what that cord is. A deodorant men care. It's packaged, so I have to take a look to see if it's been used. Has not. See, it's still got the little guard on there. So that's good, that's brand new. Oh, this is nice. So another liquid item, this is CeraVe, and it's a sunscreen with a trap sample size lotion. And it's new, it's just that somebody broke the seal, but they still haven't opened in the box. We got a movie, Birds of Prey DVD. Looks like somebody swiped the DVD, so this is of no use to me. Gonna go in the trash. A set of potassium pills that are still sealed. Oh wow, this is a whole, a whole thing of um, none. If you know what these are, you put them in your drinks, and they usually come in little canisters. The box is open and it has been taped up, but it feels like the box is pretty much full of these little packets. And the expiration date says 6-2021. So these are going to do very well, especially when I have a big entire case of them. It's going to do quite well on eBay. Um, a little thing of makeup. One thing you have to check with makeup to make sure it's still sealed so that it can be resold. This one, it looks like they broke off the seal. Yeah, it's totally broken off the seal, so I'm going to toss that in the trash. This looks like it may be, looks like a t-shirt, but it may be just like a pillow. What did I do? Scissors. Let's see. Now, what to think about this? I don't usually see clothes unless I buy a clothes bin, so... This is this is a scarf. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's a pillowcase. Okay, it's just like a jersey t-shirt knit pillowcase. Uh, Rim Essentials. And that's nice. It appears to be new. Just no tags on it. Okay, last few things. Um, this is a set of window tiers. I know that because I already have a couple sets of these. Um, and it's just like um, cafe curtains. Uh, Evolve 
satin sleek cap. Um, I've sold these before too, and these um, do really well. And then it's a little narwhal. We'll just, uh, and he's, you can squeeze him and stuff, but he's so cute. And he's still got his tag, so people like narwhals. Um, and I, oh, he's a finger puppet. Put your finger in here. Oh my gosh, how cute. And that is everything in my box today. So I think I did quite well. Um, being that I spent $100, I will definitely get my $100 back. And I think most of that $100 is probably going to come from the linens that were in the slot. Um, when it comes to pillowcases and uh, shower curtains and regular curtains, I usually can do about $20 per individual item. So those I think I'm going to do quite well with. The frozen sets, um, they retailed at $10, and so I'll at least get $10 back for those. The little dolls, I'm not sure what to think about them. Um, I don't know that I'll get $10 a piece for them, but if I can put some of them in a lot since they're like three that are the same, um, I might do okay with, with those as well. So this lot, it was okay. It wasn't one of my favorite lots that I've gotten, but I'll definitely have no problem making my money back. Now, was there $500 worth of stuff in there? Mm, I don't think so, but, um, you know, time will tell us to how well it really does once I, you know, start listing it and seeing what things go for. Uh, the little squat squash mellows, they retire from time to time, and some can be worth quite a bit. Um, it's just a matter of what season they come from and how desperate somebody is looking for them. Other than that, if you are interested in watching more of my unboxing videos or learning how to run your own home-based business, please visit us at ProInTheHome.com. Again, that's ProInTheHome.com. And definitely hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more videos like this, like it so that I know you like it. Um, and then I'll keep making more and show you um, some tips of what to look for in different liquidation boxes you're buying or how to get um, items for really cheap. Thanks for sh coming in and watching my unboxing video today. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye for now.